Hi, today we're going to be talking about that most useful of gadgets, the head torch. But before we take a look at the products themselves, I'll quickly explain a couple of technical terms we'll be using. Firstly, lumens. A lumen is a measure of light output, so the higher the lumen rating, the brighter the light is. You may also hear the term candle power, which is another very similar rating of brightness. In simple terms, one lumen is more or less equal to the power of one candle. The other thing I'll be talking about is burn time. Burn time is another term for battery life and is the duration a head torch will run for from its battery. All bulbs these days feature LED technology. This has superseded traditional bulbs and halogens because it uses a lot less battery power and the bulb lives are much, much longer. The instances of LED bulbs burning out are so rare that you're just not likely to get caught out in the dark. The most common configuration of LED head torch is the cluster. Um, this is an example here by Eurohike. Um, and it features a number of LED bulbs that uh, give you a couple of different lighting options. These also are good because they give you a nice area light for short range tasks, that's great. So for pitching tents, for cooking, for finding things in the dark, really handy. Another example of a cluster LED head torch is this one here by Petzl. This is a compact emergency head torch, uh, useful for mountaineers and hill walkers and the like. This one puts out about 26 lumens worth of light. And to give you an idea of the burn times of these head torches, on a single watch battery, this one will run for between 55 and 70 hours, depending on the setting you have it on. The other type of bulb that's commonly available is these second generation LED, which are uh, an evolution of LED technology. These are much brighter than a traditional LED. They also project a much longer beam length, for some of them up to about 100 meters. And this is useful for if you're navigating at night and you need to pick out features in the distance. Um, this particular model is a Eurohype one and this puts out 110 lumens worth of lighting. So as you can see, a lot more powerful. There are also a number of specialist head torch features that you might find on certain models. So on this silver point one here, um, you can see it features both a high power LED bulb to help you pick out those uh, items at a distance, but it also has a uh, cluster array of LED bulbs to help illuminate things at close quarters. And that array also saves on battery power, so you can adjust your lighting level to extend the battery life of your head torch. The specialist feature that you'll commonly find is a red light mode. So generally when you're navigating in the hills at night, you will try and rely on your night vision alone and not use a head torch. However, there are always instances where you'll need extra light, so for map reading or going in your rucksack. You would then engage the red light setting. This does less bleaching to your night vision. Uh, so when you turn it off again, you should still be able to see perfectly well in the dark. The most up-to-date innovation in head torches is light reacting technology which is featured in this Petzl head torch here. Basically this torch senses your environment and adjusts the beam strength of the light accordingly. What this does, it gives you exactly the right amount of light you need whilst maximising the burn time of the battery. Well we hope you feel better informed about the different head torches available. If you'd like more information, check out our range in-store or online today.